All right, power on. Okay, screen powers up, but it is just a gray screen. Okay, so we've run into a little bit of a snag. Um, the monitor is not monitoring, so to speak. A couple of faults that that would indicate. So uh, what I need to do is I need to better diagnose it. And to do that, the first thing I want to do is plug this thing up to an external monitor. And unfortunately, I don't have the cable for that. So I need to cobble that cable together. The SX64 has an external monitor connection right here. So what I need to do is cobble together an AV cord that connects to an um, eight pin DIN. So I've picked up these RCA cables now. So what I can do is I can cut this in half and I'll have four three foot leads. So the fun thing about RCA, besides failing to keep up with technology, even though they were sort of like big deal throughout the 20th century, they were kind of a big deal. It's a lot easier to work with than like coaxial cable. You don't have to worry about doing the sheath so much. So we've got our four wires and, and four grounds ready to go. So now we just got to solder these onto the lugs inside here and we should be ready to go. So everything looks to be soldered together correctly. I just want to check continuity before I put this thing all together. This is pin three. And that should go to here. Fancy. So this should work. Let's uh, go ahead and hook it up to the C64 and see if we can get anything. Got the CRT set up. Uh, got it plugged into the SX64 video out. And let's just see if we get anything. We're getting the same gray screen. At, at least I know I've got video out. So back to the drawing board. I guess I've got to diagnose this a little bit more. So before I start um, pulling chips out and, and doing all kinds of terrible things and swapping chips and everything like that. I want to check and see if the cartridge port will load. So the cartridge port bypasses the internal ROM. It runs the ROM off of here. So let's see if that will do anything. Let's see. Oh boy. Okay. So we know at least with using the external monitor that it's not just this guy's fault. Um, it's getting the same signal out to the external monitor as it is going to the internal monitor. So we have to kind of work backwards a little bit more. So that means we're going to have to go to the main board. Uh, this, it's, it's, it's a weird uh, orientation. The main board actually sits upright and it connects to everything. Uh, through these uh, like 40 pin connectors and sometimes they get a little bit uh, they get a little bit off They get a little loose connection something like that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually pull this board out um, and I'm gonna reseat all the chips that I can and hit it with a little bit of a contact cleaner to make sure that everything is, you know, nice and conductive and you know, I mean it's got, you know, 40 years worth of a uh, oxidation and whatnot in there so you know it's quite possible so let's try that in order to take uh, this board out I have to remove these little pop rivet things here I've got my needle nose pliers 
and very carefully squeeze and push. Ugh. Okay, well, there's one. Okay, one other thing I want to do is I want to mark these. All right, after a little bit of jiggery pokery, I did get the main board out. Um, and it's surprisingly clean. Trying to see if there's any damage that I can see on here, anything like that. Visually doesn't look like it. So while I'm here, I might as well uh, reseat and clean the contacts on these chips. Starting here. Okay, I have reseated the main board chips. I have uh, cleaned the contacts. Uh, let's see if we get anything. Contact. <sighs> no, all right. So there are two more chips. Uh, these 6526 chips right back here. It's hard to see. Uh, they sit on this daughter board. Um, and those may need to be reseeded as well. So let me try that. Um, still nothing there. Still nothing. So that means I got to start replacing chips. So, oh boy. So we got a PLA chip from another uh, C64, and let's try it in the SX, and I'll see if she works. Oh, here we go. Lord, please don't let me screw this up. Come on, baby. Come on. It works, it works, it works, it works, it works. Okay, so um, apparently uh, this is a pretty common problem with the SX64 is this PLA chip um, tends to overheat and damage and, and not work anymore. Uh, so replacement chip works. Uh, I am going to probably get some heat sinks and put them on there and Oh man, yeah, all right. So biggest hurdle is out of the way. Biggest hurdle is over. We have output on the screen, which means we probably have output here on the video out as well. Um, so yeah, we've got ourselves a functioning computer. Now I just gotta get the rest of it done. All right, all right, okay. <laughs>